Okay, Alisa, it looks like this is your last set of essays. Let's see what you did here. It's about green energy. Let's get right into it. Experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated whether natural energy is beneficial or harmful. Some, peop some believe that it is advantageous for the society because it is cheap and environmentally friendly, and personally I strongly agree with this. This essay will discuss both sides of the argument, and I then I will give my own opinion using examples from the UK government and Oxford University to demonstrate points of arguments. Okay, fine. On the one hand, there is ample evidence available that many green energies, such as wind, tidal, wave, well, I think tidal and wave are the same, so careful with that. And solar power, many green energies. No, look, green energies, and then are becoming common among the world. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, these are less expensive. Secondly, they are natural and less damaging to the environment. For example, recent empirical research by the UK government demonstrated that using green energy will reduce detrimental effects on the global climate. It should not be forgotten that although this energy is natural, we should take possible measures not to waste any of the resources. It is therefore clear, conclusively clear, that this kind of energy is better for the world and environment. Okay, so check out what you did. You told us, firstly, they were less expensive, and then you didn't describe it at all. You didn't go into it at all. You went straight into your second um, main idea, and then you developed this. Uh, never anywhere did you develop the fact that it's less expensive. You should have talked about that. You should have said that since it's not something that needs to be drilled or something finite or, you know, what have you, that... Um, it's less expensive, okay? So you should have said something about it, but you can't just have a main, you can't have a main idea and just leave it hanging there without any sort of support. It absolutely must be supported. So you didn't support this, you went straight into this, and then um, I don't think you needed this sentence at all. This to me felt really irrelevant. It has nothing to do with what you're being asked, so you should have gotten rid of it, okay? Um, okay. So, on the other hand, some audiences, should be plural, are against this energy. This is largely because they think that green energy is a danger to the natural energy resources. This group thinks that if we use green energy, we will eventually run out of these sources. How is that possible since they are renewable? For instance, exclusive research by the Oxford University showed that Pakistan is left with 25% of the water if they use water for electricity. They will eventually have no water after... Mm. And, put an and here after a few years consistent with this line of thinking is that countries which are not shorted uh, countries which um, do not have ample natural resources would have been better should take necessary precautions to save them alright that's not what you were supposed to talk about here you were supposed to talk about a serious threat to energy security you didn't really talk about that. You didn't talk to me about how green energy is a threat to energy security. You talked about how they are uh, finite and how they, um, you know, could deplete the supply that people have, which I feel like there's a misunderstanding of what re green energies are. Um, green energies are typically renewable energy sources. So we're not talking about a finite resource, but instead we're talking about sources that renew themselves the sun, waves, water, um, you know, all of these, which thanks to climate and weather, we have an abundant and renewable supply of. So I feel like, kind of like you misunderstood the, the, the topic, and I definitely feel like this was absolutely off topic. So I can't say I was thrilled with this paragraph at all. Um, on the contrary, I thought, like I said, that it wasn't relevant. Um... And again, it didn't talk about energy. It didn't talk about energy um, security. It just talked about how that potentially we could run out of these sources. So you have to be careful. In conclusion, from the above points and examples, I firmly believe that green energy is not only valuable but is also good for the global village and for our future generations. It is predicted that this energy will increasingly grow in importance in the future as well. All right. So another thing that I don't really understand is that is the order of your paragraphs. This essentially, according to your conclusion, is a paragraph that you support. This is a paragraph you don't support. I'm going to encourage you to reverse them. Make sure the paragraph that you support comes last 
I first talk about the paragraph that you support. This is a pretty widely accepted order of paragraphs, okay? So first I talk about what I don't support, and then just to show you how strong it is and to act like an anchor, I put the side that I support second, okay? Keep that in mind, and, um, you know, think about it when you do your next set of essays or, you know, straight into your exam. Let's take a look at this next door neighbor with the dog. <sighs> Dear Mike, I hope you were doing well. Careful. I'm writing this letter to let you know that I'm unhappy with my current living condition because of your dog. All right, straight to the point. You could have been a little more gentle, but all right, we'll talk about that in a minute. Well, everything else is fine. Your new dog house is right next to my room, and as he barks continually, therefore, mm -mm, no. And as the dog barks continually, I am unable to concentrate on my studies. You didn't need this, therefore. The trouble started almost two months ago when you got your new dog. Prior to that, everything was fine. Your old dog was quiet, and I had, past tense, no problem with him. Whereas your new dog stays up all night and barks incessantly loud. Therefore, I'm unable to sleep and study properly. Is it possible for you to move your new dog to your front yard? As it is away from my room, I think that would reduce the noise. If that is not possible, you can take professional service. No, you can hire a professional service and train your dog. I have a friend whose dog was barking day and night, and eventually he sent his dog to a training school, and his problem was solved. I am sure the noise is not only disturbing for me, disturbing me, not for me, but, also, but for others too. I have a friend who trains dogs, and if you would like, I can ask him to visit you. Okay, uh, it's fine. Okay, I hope you can find a possible solution to this problem. Thank you in advance. Oops. Okay. So, let's talk about this. You already said his name. It's dear Mike. And so, it must be your friend, your neighbor, yours sincerely, but never yours faithfully. Yours faithfully is what we use in a formal letter only when you don't know the name of the person you are writing to. Here, you've clearly called him by name, and it's not a formal letter. It's informal or neutral. So this should have been regards, best regards, yours faithfully, uh, yours sincerely, forgive me. All right, number one, let's deal with that. Um, I felt you used a lot of and. As far as linkers are concerned, this, I guess, is a coherence and cohesion issue. I felt like you used and a ton. Um, and I have no problem with him. And barks incessantly loud, sleep and study properly. Um, and train your dog, barking all day and night, and eventually, and his problem was solved. And if you would like, I can. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? I felt like there was a ton of and. And for me to pick up on that, it means that it was really blatant. Okay, now obviously and is a linking word that people use all the time, but it should be seamless, it should not attract any attention. So what I would have liked is for you to have um, changed around the order of these sentences so you didn't have to use and quite so many times, okay? So that's a little bit about grammar, that's a little bit about um, <sighs> coherence and cohesion, um, Let's see. Oh, yeah, not grammar. I'm sorry. It was about uh, just um, coherence and cohesion again here, too. All right, so be careful with all of that. I thought the rest, were on it, the, rest, the rest of the letter on its own was fine. I didn't really have an issue with it. So this is your last set of essays. You may have told us when your exam is, but to be quite honest with you, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, if you've got a few days, even if you've got like five or six days, I'd like to encourage you to sign up for more essay corrections. You're doing well, but I still think there is work we could do. Um, I still think you will benefit from feedback. So see if you can sign up to one of the extra essay packs, um, and we can you know, continue preparing you uh, right up to your exam. All right, keep it in mind, and I look forward to hearing from you. Good luck.